but it's a, what? And its name is the Little Joe. Nick Stoll out here again today, and I uh, want to introduce something a little bit new. You're all familiar with my regular size buck saw with the 24 inch 51 tooth Baco drywood blade. I was uh, recently commissioned by Dave Canterbury to build him a smaller buck saw, collapsible buck saw that he can take with him in his travels. And uh, this is what I came up with for him. Okay, um, this is charred hickory. Basically, I just took some hickory wood, built the saw, and then hit it with my torch to give it this charred look, which I think is real pretty. It brings the grain right out. So, similar to my other buck saws, you got the two handles, the crossbar, and the toggle. And this folds up a little bit differently and the blade still goes in the back of the one handle like that and there you have it put it together just like the other saws you have the crossbar with the tenons and they go inside the mortises Again, you just twist up. You just twist the string with this toggle to get the desired tension you want on your blade. So this is a 12-inch dry wood blade from Baco. Let's see where. I cut the back of the handle. I do with all my saws for the blade to set in. So you don't have to take the blade out to collapse your buck saw. Anyway, there you have it. That's my new project product. And uh, my son, Joe, named this the Little Joe. Alright, just to demonstrate the cutting power of these uh, Baco drywood blades. That is a piece of Osage Orange. Dead, dry, hardened Osage Orange branch. Okay, we're going to cut that down with this guy. That's about wrist size. Maybe a little bit bigger than my wrist. Remember, I wear a size extra large glove. Stoll's Outdoor. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you in the next one.